Hi guys, Mark here. Well, welcome along today to Crescent Yamaha here in the south of England. And today we're going to be having a look at the Yamaha T-Max Tech Max. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Hi guys, Mark here. Well, welcome today to a review on the new 2022 Yamaha T-Max Tech Max. Let's take a look around and just run through all the specifications in the usual way. And first off, as always, many thanks to Crescent Yamaha here in the south of England for lending me this bike today. So starting off with the price, £12,700. This has a 562 cc liquid cooled parallel twin double overhead cam that's putting out 46.9 horsepower at 7500 rpm 55 newton meters of torque at 5250 rpm a2 license compatible and euro 5 this has a 360 degree crank on it, which gives it a very, very smooth feeling. More of that later. We have a CVT belt drive, continuously variable transmission with a belt drive on, the, on there. Nice economical, these engines. Round about 58 to 60 miles per gallon UK. About 4.8 litres for 100 kilometres. So 800 millimetre seat on these uh, T-Maxes. But as I always say, extremely wide this seat. Um, so it does push your legs right out. So not really a bike for short riders. I'm five foot seven with a 30 inch inside leg, weigh about 75 kilos, and I can just about touch down. So just have a look at me on the cut scene I'll put in for you now, and then you can compare it for yourself. Weight on these, 220 kilograms wet weight. Tyres, we have a 120 section on the front. 15 inch wheels front and rear and a 160 section on the back. And these are running Bridgestone Battle Axe. We have twin front discs, really powerful brakes. Excellent stopping power, more of that later. Four piston calipers. Got a 15 litre fuel tank, and new for this year, quite convenient. The, uh, the filler cap's actually already exposed rather than, say, under a flap. So it's actually exposed, which is a nice little touch. Should get a range of about 150 miles, I would say. Top speed on these approximately 115 miles an hour so keyless ignition keys in my pocket new for this year an absolutely stunning full color seven inch tft screen we'll go into that a bit more in depth later on 
got full smartphone connectivity with the My Ride app, full map Garmin navigation, we've got a heated seat, heated grips, electric screen which is absolutely brilliant, it's all controlled through this uh, menu toggle switch here, we'll look at that later on, cruise control, so new for this year We've got a longer seat and longer footboards here, a bit more room. And the sort of the, uh, the backrest here adjusts forwards and backwards about 50 mil as well, which is convenient. So you can tailor it to your, your shape. As I said, smart key, keyless operation. Quite a clever device these uh, T-Maxes have. It has an anti-theft centre stand, so when you put it onto the centre stand, put the lock on, it actually locks the centre stand in place so it can't physically be pushed off the centre stand. New for this year as well, we've got lightweight spin-forged wheels. Service intervals on these are at 6,000 miles. We've got the valves at 24,000 miles. Have traction control. We've got D mode, we have touring and sport riding modes. Try that out later on. So under the seat here, all very easy to use. Enough storage on, in there for one helmet. Got a convenient little light as well. Got nice little glove box in there with a USB. We've got a parking brake, handbrake. And these are available in two colours. This colour which is called Dark Petrol and is also available in a very nice grey as well. LEDs all round. Projector headlights with integrated indicators. Okay guys, let's do the test ride. Okay, Yamaha T-Max 560 test ride. Let's try this out. So I've ridden a couple of these now over the past few years and I must admit every time I ride them I'm super impressed with them. I know they're big money but it's probably one of the best experiences you're ever going to have on, on a scooter I would say. So we just run through all the dash here and um, all the controls and uh, then take it for a ride. So starting off we have um, Span adjustable front and rear brakes. The brakes are very good on this. We'll talk about that later on. We have high and low beam and pass indicators horn We have a convenient handbrake here. So if I let that off I start to roll forwards put it back on Obviously you can't leave these in gear You have engine kill switch uh, riding mode uh, T and sport uh, touring and sport hazards and start button Got a nice little convenient glove box there. Obviously it's a keyless ignition, smart key, so keys in my pocket and that's all operated on the button here. Uh, this is your cruise control here and then this, this basically here is your main navigation and kind of selection button for the screen. So to start up, quick push there. That powers up all the lovely new TFT, which is an absolute joy. You can change the look of that a little bit, um, but let's leave it on this. So basically this little uh, toggle switch here does the side there changes if you pull it onto this central section here you've got vehicle info audio app there's your screen up and down and then you've got your grip warmer heated grips heated seat settings theme which changes the look and info again I'm just gonna leave it on screen for now so a whole lot of information in there revs speedo all your trips miles per gallon, average speed, range, all that sort of good stuff. So uh, let's start her up. So straight away just purrs into life that lovely parallel twin, very smooth 360 degree crank on this. So uh, all good. So I'm just going to remove the handbrake and away we go. So absolutely purrs, it's super smooth on the take up of the auto clutch, quite amazing. Very, very comfortable seat. They've lengthened the seat and the footboards a bit to give you more room. And it's one of the uh, most comfortable scooters I think you could ever ride. So lots of power, 47 horsepower, 
very very quick off the mark so you can see we're very quickly up to about 60 miles an hour with no problem whatsoever there and the first thing that hits you is just a how smooth this engine is and the quality of the ride and the comfort but it really does handle like a motorcycle it's got conventional motorcycle forks rear swing arm and um, it does handle absolutely beautifully front brake feels absolutely superb we'll try that in a bit right so we're out on the open road now we'll just run through the bike in the usual fashion so we'll talk about the screen first so at the moment that's the screen in its highest position and it's just about just a bit higher than my eye line and there's no wind at all super quiet smooth bubble of air here if I lower the screen right down there's lots of wind in my face now it's quite noisy so we we'll just put it back up again to about there and we'll leave it there so screen very wide and a good range of adjustment there say you're in a warm country you want some wind going on to you that's all good mirrors they're quite out there but again a good clear view behind no vibrations in them and I can see about 20% of my elbows in them so all good new TFT seven inch screen there is an absolute joy so bright and clear very very nice to look at see my speed revs all the trip meters all the info air temperature coolant all that sort of stuff gives you can have it on range as well and fuel consumption so fantastic job Yamaha on the new screen not that the old analog dials weren't good they were beautiful as well on last year's model but this is a really nice touch so we've got heated grips on this cruise control highly highly equipped this is so this is actually built as a as a sports scooter really so you could definitely feel the handling is very good it's, it's a very engaging ride you could definitely just go out and ride this for fun around twisty country lanes it's not just a commuter bike you know quite a long way from the fact actually it really is a fantastic bit of kit around the twisties here I have read that it's a little bit on, more on the sporty on the firm side on the suspension but this is a bumpy road we're on now and I have no complaints at all uh, very very compliant suspension there's no sort of jarring or anything whatsoever coming up through the uh, suspension for me so five star suspension right so nothing behind we just try the front brake only and that is extremely strong Boy, doesn't it accelerate well wow as I said that's about a top speed of about 115 miles an hour on this Yamaha are quoting around about 57 to the gallon UK out of this uh, I'm not doubting that at all you probably get more you know well over 60 I expect if you take it easy the overall wind protection from you know the fairing lower down again top marks got a nice bit of protection on my legs extremely comfortable uh, leg position either straight down or right out forwards however you choose currently got my legs right stretched forwards I've put the little uh, backrest behind my lower back forwards for me at five foot seven and it's extremely comfortable riding position totally upright I love the bars nice sort of shoulder width apart all the switch gear is that really nice sort of Yamaha tactile sort of feel back brake is excellent as well they've done a superb job on the uh, throttle response it's very very nice we'll try it through town in a bit but uh, it's extremely progressive, not snatchy in the slightest. So we're in sport mode now, 
and yeah you can feel the difference it's much more instant sort of tour has got like a a rounded sort of gentle throttle response sport when you wind it back quickly it really does take off so just round the bends here all very short footed excellent grippy tires winding it open as you can see it picks up very well makes a really good noise they've done a superb job there Yeah, I must admit, whenever I ride these T-Maxes, I never want to get off them. Such a lovely piece of kit to ride. So let's just slow things down a bit. What's it like just to do gentle cruising? So here we are, 50 miles an hour. We're just turning over at about 4,000 RPM. So I play with the cruise control. There you go, hands-free, 50 miles an hour super easy no vibrations anywhere that i can feel we'll try it on a dual carriageway in a minute but uh beautifully smooth and easy and you can easily uh, speed it up and slow it down on the cruise so cruise is superb all right we'll just try a few little roll-ons shall we 30 mile an hour and wide open wide open Yeah, as you can see, it, it's, the pickup is very impressive. Riding position, as I said earlier, it's pretty much dead upright. Lovely feet forward position. I must admit, I love this screen. I've got virtually no wind at all hitting me at the moment. I can just feel a little bit of wind just hitting my lower legs. But all in all, excellent riding position and weather protection. If you wanted to do touring on this, you know, put a top box on the back, you could easily do hundreds of miles on this with no problem whatsoever so we're just in a minute going to be coming on to a dual carriageway just to try out the t-max's slightly higher speed cruising potential so i've got the screen in the highest position at the moment it's providing an excellent job of keeping the wind off me all very very stable feels quite a long wheelbase very very still air here so perfect for long distance touring holding its line perfectly well and then absolutely no vibrations through the bars the footboards or the seat so absolutely five stars for the t-max at the higher speed plenty of top gear acceleration there's loads of pull there if you need it from 70 upwards so um very impressive scooter if you needed to do long distances on this absolutely five stars all the way in my opinion all right so we're just going to come into a little town environment now just going to see what the uh t-max is like at low speeds check the fueling throttle response and overall sort of handling so i've currently got it in the t t drive mode touring which is very sort of soft mellow throttle very very nice throttle response no problem there at all must admit this scooter has absolutely beautiful sort of throttle pickup they've really got that spot on so we're just cruising along at about 30 mile an hour now no surging or hunting in the fueling it's not sort of pulsing or anything like that super smooth no vibrations whatsoever so it's all very easy to control beautiful smooth action on the brakes just feel the uh centrifugal clutch picking up there again very easy it doesn't sort of so suddenly shoot forward when the clutch engages it's just super smooth all the way 220 kilos this bike it's quite a big physical scooter but uh very very easy to manage in this sort of situation now if you had to use it to go to work on go and get some shopping it's incredibly easy to control beautiful manners to the engine it's not overheating or getting flustered it's just very very easy to manage so here we are at 20 bar an hour now absolutely smooth as silk so yeah absolutely five stars guys for the t-max in town
So that, just to sum up the uh, Yamaha T-Max 560, probably one of the, the best scooters on the market. I know it's probably most, the most expensive, but hey, what a, what a ride. Incredibly good handling, very much like a motorcycle. Superb, potent, smooth, exciting uh, parallel twin engine. Every possible sort of uh, optional accessory you would want. It's got a really good soundtrack. I think Yamaha have designed the exhaust to sound good. It's practical, comfortable. You could definitely do some huge, huge miles on this in a day. So I've been on this for over an hour now and done absolutely no aches or pains. And I love the, uh, the forward, the feet forward riding position. Nice comfortable position. I do like the new screen, that's superb. And uh, the adjustable electric screen up here is uh, fantastic as well. So we'll just uh, have a little uh, final walk around up here, guys. Those brakes are superb. Yeah, well, I'll just give you a little look at that TFT dash. It does sound rather good. Excellent. So, nice, decent size stand there for Yamaha. Let's just see what it's like to go onto the centre stand. I'll right, just see what it's like to push around first. It's a bit of a hill here, but nice decent grab rail at the back here And that is extremely easy to push around the thing is with scooters is their weight is very very low So um, this is 220 kilos, but no, that's very very easy And oh one of the easiest center stands you could ever imagine Also got the uh, parking brake there. All right, then let's have a, a final look around this shall we? So, you know, conventional sort of motorcycle swing arm, really good tyres there, very good flickable, fun handling, super smooth 560cc engine, got a bit of decent storage under there, do love all the new sort of features for this model year, new, uh, new TFT, that's very nice to wear there as well. But we'll just have a quick look at the uh, T-Max's uh, lights and indicators as well. So integrated in indicators, that's your low beam. Just flick it onto high. Hopefully you can get this. Looks very, very bright Le LED projector headlights. Quick look at the back. very bright and visible that's good got the projector style headlights conventional motorcycle forks looks pretty nice in that color But again, as always with anything Yamaha, lovely build quality. Let's see what the So there you go. All very nice. Okay guys, well that's about it really for today. Please post your comments down below. Have you got a T Max from a few years ago? Are you thinking about getting this new model? Please give me a like. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll catch you again in a week or two. Alright guys, we'll ride safe and bye for now.